today is really, really difficult to accept. Really difficult. Emotions running high here at BC Supreme Court in downtown Vancouver as BC gangster Jamie Bacon is sentenced for his involvement in the infamous Surrey Six killings 13 years after they took place. Today, the court accepted the joint submission by Crown and Defence Counsel and opposed a sentence of 18 years for the conspiracy to commit murder and 10 years concurrent for the counseling to commit, to commit mur murder. With credit for time served, Jamie Bacon will spend another five years and seven months behind bars. The 35-year-old is considered the mastermind of the Surrey Six killings, ordering the murders in efforts to advance the drug trafficking operations of the Red Scorpions gang. Two of the men killed in Surrey's Balmoral Tower on October 19, 2007, were innocent bystanders, 55-year-old Ed Schellenberg and 22-year-old Christopher Mohan. It is our hope and the resolution today will bring some small measure of certainty, solace, and finality to the families of the victims and to the larger community. I want to respect the process, but I think the process is not respecting us in return. Christopher Mohan's mother, Eileen, calls the sentence soft and a reflection of a broken justice system. How do we change laws so that families like us, innocent families like us, whose lives are so shattered, we don't have to stand at the court, at the doorstep of the courts, begging, begging for justice. Mohan spoke directly to the court in August, saying the murders robbed her family of its identity, her son Chris forever being known as the victim. And now, knowing Bacon will be a free man in less than six years, she feels the judge did not hear her. Our voices were shut out from the process. Even though she recognized our victim impact statement, but that did not carry any weight. While Bacon is the final person to be sentenced in the Surrey Six killings, the years-long saga is not over yet. Two of the accused are appealing their convictions and will be back in court in October. Eileen Mohan says she'll be there too to honour her son and continue the fight for justice. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.